Pablo Picasso (1881–1973) was one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, known for his revolutionary contributions to the development of modern art. Over the course of his long and prolific career, Picasso created thousands of works in a wide range of styles and mediums, including painting, sculpture, printmaking, and ceramics. His work is characterized by its innovative approach to form and composition, as well as its deeply personal and often political themes. Early Life and Education Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno María de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso, known simply as Pablo Picasso, was born in Malaga, Spain, on October 25, 1881. His father, José Ruiz Blasco, was an artist and art teacher who encouraged his son's early interest in art. From a young age, Picasso showed a precocious talent for drawing and painting, and he was encouraged to pursue his passion for art. In 1895, Picasso's family moved to Barcelona, where he began to study at the city's School of Fine Arts. Despite his young age, Picasso quickly proved to be a talented and committed student, earning praise from his teachers for his technical skill and artistic vision. By the age of 16, Picasso had already completed a number of impressive works, including a series of portraits and landscapes. Early Works In 1900, Picasso made his first trip to Paris, where he was exposed to the latest trends in modern art. It was during this time that he began to experiment with new styles and techniques, including post-impressionism and symbolism. One of his earliest works from this period, The Old Guitarist, 1903-1904, is a haunting portrait of an old man playing a guitar, rendered in somber blues and grays. By 1905, Picasso had begun to develop his signature style, characterized by its bold, angular forms and fragmented composition. This style, which would later become known as Cubism, was a radical departure from traditional modes of representation, and it quickly gained a reputation for its innovation and experimentation. Some of Picasso's most famous works from this period include Les Demoiselles de Vignon, 1907, a provocative and groundbreaking portrait of five nude women, and My Jolie, 1911-1912, a colorful and abstracted portrait of his lover, Marcel Humbert. Cubism Picasso's work in the early years of the 20th century marked a turning point in the history of modern art. His development of Cubism, which sought to break down forms into their constituent parts and reassemble them in new and abstract ways, revolutionized traditional notions of representation and paved the way for later movements such as abstract expressionism and minimalism. Picasso's early Cubist works, such as Les Demoiselles de Vignon, were marked by their fragmented composition and multiple viewpoints. As he continued to explore the possibilities of the form, however, his style became increasingly abstract and geometric, with an emphasis on the interplay of shapes and colors. Some of his most famous works from this period include Still Life with Chair Caning, 1912, a mixed-media work that incorporates both painting and collage, and Guitar, 1913, a groundbreaking sculpture made from sheet metal and wire. In addition to his work in painting and sculpture, Picasso was also a prolific printmaker, producing thousands of etchings, lithographs, and woodcuts over the course of his career. Many of his prints were created in collaboration with master printers, and they are renowned for their technical skill and innovative use of color and form.